start the discussion with this quoted statement. It is not the hearing that improves life, but the listening. So listening skill is an ability to actively hear and understand message and communication process. It is important to develop this skill because it helps individual to gain information. So the difference between hearing and listening is that hearing is just a physical process that allows that allows sounds to enter your ears while listening is more than that it involves paying more attention and improving comprehension so my topic is about external factors external factors are are mainly related to the type of language, input and thrust, and the context in which listening occurs. Beside internal factors, there are also some external factors which can reduce the effectiveness of listening. These factors are Number one, speed of delivery and different accents of the speakers. So if the speaker tends to speak in abnormal rate where they are too fast or too slow and uses a different or non-standard English, it becomes difficult it becomes difficult on the part of the listener to interpret the messages. So as a speaker, we have to use generally accepted rate and accent in listening activities. Number two, the context and task of listening materials. So this referred to the subject itself. In the poor presentation techniques, used by the speaker it also disturb the listening process so as a teacher we must prepare engaging subjects and techniques for listener so number three context refers to the spatial temporal lo location of the utterance such as on on the particular time and particular place at which the speaker makes an utterance and the particular time and place at which the listener hears or reads the utterance. So, so developing a, a conducive environment for listening is, is a great help for students. So number four. Co-text, another major factor influencing the interpretation of meaning, it refers to the linguistic context or the textual environment provided by the discourse or text in which a particular utterance occurs. Co-text constrains the way in which we interpret the response. So... So context is the physical situation or the setting while the cotext it is the the textual environment it is a linguistic factors that might affect listening comprehension considering this factor so the educator has to improve the inferring and predicting skills of the way students and most importantly or an effective way also is to teaching them note-taking taking techniques. So those are the external factors affecting students' listening comprehension. So, here are some techniques how to improve students' listening comprehension. 
Number one, teach pronunciation, stress, and intonation of the critical sounds of English. Two, practice sounds di discrimination, liaisons, and incomplete plosives. Number three, Recognize stress and unstressed words. Number four, enrich vocabulary. Five, teach grammar. Six, practicing inferring information not directly stated. And seven, improve skills in predicting. And the last one is teach note taking skills and that's and those are the external factors affecting listening comprehension and the techniques how to improve students listening comprehension